Hi again, it's Sarah, Senior Copywriter at Scalepad. I'm chatting with Ash. He is the Senior Product Manager for Quoter. He's going to tell us all about what's new on the Quoter platform for August 2024. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. Great to be chatting again. So we have uh, a number of smaller improvements this month. So a few of our developers are on summer vacations, and so things are moving a little bit differently than they would through the rest of the year, but we still have a lot of uh, a lot happening and a, a good velocity to our development team. At, at a really high level, we've made some improvements to our WYSIWYG editor. We also have an approval policy rule that some might be able to take advantage of, some more Halo improvements, and a small Amazon tweak that will help uh, on the ordering side as well. Sounds great. Let's, uh, let's dig into the details. Perfect. Sounds good. So yeah, as I mentioned, we have made a number of improvements to our Froala. Really, it's our WYSIWYG editor for a number of the content sections on your quote, as well as some of the emails that are triggered out of the system. And so technically, we're using Froala under the hood, which is a sort of plug and play, editable, flexible WYSIWYG editor. We moved away from CK editor maybe six months ago. Uh, it's still a configuration setting that we have a number of partners still using CK editor. You can change that in your account settings if you'd like to. And so the improvements we've made are around image formatting, pasting content from different sources like Word or Google Docs, um, as well as making it more uh, flexible to handle page breaks for PDF generation. So a number of small improvements, but at this point in time, I would really encourage anyone who hasn't tried out the new editor to give it a shot. Our knowledge base article can walk you through the configuration setting you need to make. It's just a toggle, very easy to do. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out to Partner Success. Now, we also added a new manager approval rule to our manager approval policy functionality. So any MSPs out there that don't want their salespeople creating ad hoc line items or ad hoc bundles, that now can be managed with a manager approval rule. So you'll see that in your dropdown when you're creating new policies or editing existing policies. And if that's uh, a feature you're not currently taking advantage of, but want to learn more about, again, just reach out to a partner success team. They'll walk you through it or your sales uh, representative as well. We also made a number of Halo improvements. So primarily on pushing products to Halo, you'll see in our knowledge base article, there's a number of updates there, things around being able to tell the system if you want to push our manufacturer part number or our line item name to the Halo product that we create. If we're creating one, we obviously try to match, or if you've pulled in your Halo product um, directly to your quote or your quote template, we will match automatically. But if you've put something on your quote, we do try to match the Halo, um, but if we don't find a match, then we'll create a new product. And a lot of the functionality that we've added is around streamlining and pushing data to a number of fields in that new product to make it easier for you. And it's worth noting that Halo considers the product name the unique identifier for the product. And that's why we give the flexibility to push either our line item name or what we consider the unique identifier, our manufacturer part number or code field. Then lastly, we also made a small tweak to our Amazon integration. So in our procurement pick list, we now push the ASIN or the Amazon unique identifier. And that just makes it much easier for your procurement or ordering team to identify what you need to procure through your Amazon business account. A quick note there is we are exploring automated ordering through Amazon. So if that's something you'd really like to see us build and would really help your organization, please let us know and we'll be gathering feedback on that. Awesome. Yeah, as usual, the quota development squads are always looking for feedback uh, from partners. No, yeah, absolutely. I'd like to make a quick shout out to Mandy Green, who took his time to walk us through some of the uh, nuances, really, to how we're pushing data to Halo and, and our overall Halo integration. And a lot of that feedback is already being worked on. And I just appreciate you know everyone in the the channel that helps bring us feedback, our partners, our prospects, um, those you know who drive their own businesses, but still spend time working with us to help us make the product better so that everyone can benefit. So yeah, thanks, Mandy, and thanks to the MSBs who provided feedback on this ongoing iterative process of making Quota work really, really well with Halo. And lastly, anything you want to tell us about what's coming up in the next few months? Anything you can tease or anything in the works? Yeah, um, those taking advantage of what we've called our new quotes list, which we probably should rebrand. <laughs> <laughs> um, but 
they will see the opportunity to filter by uh, date ranges coming very soon. So wow. your one date, your expired dates, your created dates, uh, last sent dates even. So that will really sort of round out the corners of that uh, feature and make it an index or, or list view that's very helpful to the day-to-day -day operations of MSPs. That will be coming very soon. We're also continuing to work on our profitability reporting enhancements. So uh, I know our reporting interface is fairly limited now. Partners are seeing benefit from it, but this will take it to the next level and really excited to get at least the first you know, iterations of that feature out. So we should see that fairly soon. And then we've got a lot in the works to build on top of it as well. Lastly, it might be worth mentioning that we are starting to work on bringing Quoter into the ScalePad ecosystem and connecting products there. So it's a longer project. I don't want to give a, any kind of timeline exactly on that, but it's exciting that work is happening and decisions are being made and we're starting to see how partners will benefit from those integrations as well. Thanks so much, Ash. I appreciate your time. We'll check back in next month.